I have here the Evangelical Study Bible. This is the New King James Version. I received this Bible in exchange for a review, but all of these thoughts are my own. And my first impression is that this is quite a large Bible. It is nine and a half inches tall, a little over six and a half inches wide, and a little over two inches thick as well. So this is not the kind of Bible that you're going to want to take everywhere with you. It's probably not the Bible that you want to take with you to church on Sunday mornings. But for some in-depth study, this might be perfect. I really like the design of the cover. You got the tree and its branches. Very biblical concept right there. And the hardback is exactly the same. So whether you have a cover on it or not, still have this really nice design. Of course, you have all the standard pages, who you're giving the Bible to, four words, acknowledgments. Here's all the various sections of the Bible. So there's quite a few extras in this Bible. There's a quick reference to helping you with various issues. And then, of course, the Bible itself. At the beginning of each book of the Bible, you have a summary of that book. And it seems to be a good summary. I read through the Genesis one. It had a lot to say about the authorship. It talks about how Moses is oftentimes rejected as the author, and yet it comes back to the fact that the Bible itself attests that Moses is the author, and that there's really no reason to doubt that. So it's very much a scholarly, evangelical view in the notes. The text of the Bible itself is nice and large. It's bigger than a 12-point font, so quite a bit larger than your standard Bible. This is not a small print. If you need a large print Bible, this is a great one. Got lots of cross-references there in the middle, and quite a bit of commentary at the bottom. Also outlines for the books as well. So lots of good study notes, lots of good questions and answers throughout the Bible as well. Of course, this is the New King James Version. Genesis 1-1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, which of course is very familiar and accurate. It is a full color Bible, so you have full color illustrations in it from time to time. Those kind of things can really help the Bible come alive, help you picture the history of things. It does have one of these very familiar Bible bookmarks in it, so you can keep your place with that. Here's John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that's great. There's lots of maps in the Bible as well. Those help you picture where things took place as well. And then in the back, you have things like topical indexes, conversions for weights and measures, Jewish calendar, various prayers that you find in the Bible. So lots of useful things. And that concordance is pretty long too. Quite a few words compared to many other Bibles that I've seen. Then a few more maps, and that's it. It says on the back, there are over 100 short articles on Christian teachings and doctrine, 50 articles of navigating current cultural issues, over 100 archaeological notes, and so on. Lots of good stuff. So this is definitely a big, nice study Bible. If you're an evangelical and you like the New King James Version, like I said, maybe not the Bible that you want to take on Sunday mornings because it's so big, but definitely a great study Bible. I recommend it. There's a link in the description. If you order through that, I get a small commission. I would greatly appreciate it.